I want to go over something that happened while I was working with this motor. This is a, a motor that was pulled out of equipment. It is 240 uh, three phase. Actually, it's dual voltage. Uh, it can be 240 or 440 three phase. And I did a video earlier on operating a three phase motor off a single phase using a a second three phase motor and I'll reference that video here but I was experimenting with this one this one's three horse and I wanted to see if I could get the same amp draw on the uh, third leg of the three phase as I could get by using that separate motor also, it would uh, eliminate the uh, startup using like a quarter horse to get the motor to turn. You could use capacitors to actually start it and to provide the third phase. Well, I hooked them up and I tried them several ways and all this was going along pretty well. And I did get it to work and I was trying different size capacitors. I was trying using a start capacitor to give it a harder kick and you know things like that well at one point when I hook this up I want you to look close here and I'll get closer on it if you look close right there there's smoke where there's smoke there's bad news this motor smoked on me sitting right there it wasn't running I just hooked up the power uh, with the capacitors on it and I'll, I'll show you how I hooked the capacitors up but Let's take a look at the inside of this motor and see what happened. To give an idea of how I set this up, I know it kind of looks like a nightmare here, and this is not permanent, this is just a testing circuit. I have my power coming in here, and it goes to two of the lines uh, of the three-phase unit. The third phase is right here, and it goes to the common of these two caps, and I've got about 75 microfarad there. And it, one side hooks into one of the taps here and one's there. Okay, when I fired this up is when I smoked this motor. I don't know why, if anyone has an idea of why this would have happened, I'd like to hear it. Uh, I will show you the inside of the motor and tell you what uh, what actually happened to it inside. But it's kind of a mystery as to why this motor would have failed. But it definitely did. Okay, I've got the end bell off the motor. And I'm going to get closer here. You can pretty much see right there we've got some of these uh, strings are uh, melted off so obviously we've had a uh, a short in the windings this does have a short to ground uh, it's not a dead short but it's pretty close here it is with the rotor removed you can see there yep it definitely burned the windings up on it and they are shorted to the chassis so anybody's got any ideas on this uh, be interesting to see what you think. Uh, did I wire it up wrong? Were the capacitors uh, put between the wrong winding? I mean, their windings appear to be identical. Uh, was it just a fluke? And it was ready to go when I first uh, tried it. I don't know. Uh, let's see what you think.